and we are back playing as Boomer, who I nicknamed Kaboom, in the Cutthroat Carnival. As you can tell, I have fully upgraded him, since you can tell by the how many dynamites he throws. <laughs> That's new. Never heard him actually say that before. He's kind of funny. Um, in the first... Wait a minute. Are those eyes following us? Oh my god, I think those eyes are following us. Well, in the game... Well, in the level before this, we were playing, um... Uh... Okay, yeah, Pirate Seas. Which is an additional adventure pack, which you can choose to play at any time. And it's kind of funny, because now... Because that game was full of pirates, and now there's pirates in this one. Alright, here's some treasure. <laughs> okay, this guy is really funny. I bet he was dropped when he was a baby. <laughs> Alright. It's a simple puzzle. We just move the platform from there to there. Easy peasy. Dynamite. <laughs> Look at his head. It looks ridiculous. It looks like someone from an old okay, 80s rock band. Oh, I'm on the band. Hey, look at my mohawk. Now I'm gonna cut you with my ox. You stupid troll thing. Oh, I just got blown up. See me at my reunion concert. Mohawk Cyclops, the dead Cyclops who is not performing because he's dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to do that. Sorry. <laughs> I just love his voice. And before I go anywhere else, I'm just gonna check all the other places, you know, see if there's anything I can do. For instance, I'm gonna go look in that house. Okay, seriously, this guy is obsessed with bombs. Alright, there's a bomb here, so I assume that in the next house, there must be something special. Alright, let's run. Run, Boomer, run! Run! Kablam! You, it was, you know, they kind of remove, remove something from this game. If you manage to do quick enough, uh, you can throw, a, you can throw two barrels, and you, when you hold the second one, you can actually hold the first one as well. You know, so they won't, they won't, so they both won't explode until um, you uh, can let go of the button. They took that away, like they took away Sparrow's um, Earth Pound, a uh, fire breathing combo. You. In the first game, you used to do the earth pound, you know, and you can also breathe fire while he's doing it, you know, like, whoo, that helps defeat your enemies much quicker, especially chaos. But, in this game, they took all that away. I mean, seriously, what's wrong with you? We love that stuff. You, I bet that might be, okay, new Sparrow's, okay, okay, I think that might be Sparrow's, um, uh, what was that? Uh, yeah, wild power. power. It better not be, because seriously, if they just took it away so they can put it in a wild pile, that's just lazy. Oh, you're a genius blubber. Alright, time to go to the stealth. As an elf. I have no idea why I just said that. Stealth Elf is one of my favorites, as you recall me saying before. Well, I can't really tell who's my favorite of all the light elements. Let's see, I have um, Stump Smash, Camo, Stealth Elf, and Tree Rex. All of them, so Series 1, well, I think, well actually I think the Skylanders Giants figures, the 
the, the new Skylanders Giants figures are all considered Series 1 because they're the first versions of them. Think about it. So that means in the next series, they might actually have a Series 2 Tree Rex. Depends on what they call it. They might call it a Series 3, but still. I truly hate you. I still don't know which one of them is my favorite. It's just really hard to tell. I, sadly, I don't have Sook either the Series 1 or in Series 2. I think I might get the Series 1 first because I really want to add my collection to it the first game. Then I might do the Series 2 one for this one. I don't know what I'm going to do. Can I actually add some some neat series one scanners to this one? I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but still, it's I'm considering it. Wait a minute, Fangs, is that you? Oh, I don't, I, I couldn't recognize you when you're wearing a suit. Hey, this is the guy we played um. All right. Um. Now it's your turn. Play a stone. Yeah, it's pretty much straightforward. Hmm. Not bad. I really like this game. Seems easy. It seems a bit better than the whole pirate cards because the pirate cards weren't very good compared to this one. Oh, damn it! All right. Let's see. Um, Inhuman Shield. Has some good defense. You shook me stone. Spider -lings. Oh, damn it. Well, anyway, we first met this guy in the. He was the first guy we faced uh, in that, um. Uh, what was it? Uh. Pirate cards, yeah. Pirate, sorry. Pirate cards, a game. He was the first guy we faced. So what's he doing here, wearing a suit? Yippee ki yay! Ooh, and Fuego Chompy Free. All right, let's see. Best sky stone, really? Well, I, would, I do have to admit, it's not that bad. It has pretty much the same, number, same arrows as the Inhuman Shield, except backwards. I mean, upside down. Oh, hello, scroll. Found in a place known as the Forger's Basement. You just may need to do a little creative remodeling to find them. Was there like a doorway? You know, like a. Hmm. What are you talking about, Eon? Is there some sort of like a hidden passage? Oh, the life draw. Just like Brock. Yeah. You can't match stealth off speed. And her skills. Bring it on, punks! Come back here, you cowards. Let me slice you in half. Damn, I'm good. Wait, what? I guess it would have been more helpful before you played. Uh, yes, it would have. Not bad, but you would, you could have given it to us. Then we would have won easier. Or gotten better points. If, if, the, if it has points. What element to say? Water? Gone. 
Bring it on, tough guy. Believe me, stealth oak can chop you in half. <laughs> Told you. Alright, who's next? Who's next? Bring it on! Yippee ki yay! Never mess with the elf. Interesting. All right. Let's see. What else? Um. Hmm. I really want to face this sky stones master guy. Whatever his name. Oh, he's a boat master. What oh, chance? He was in the first game too. Wait a minute. Thanks. Chance. You don't think, do you? Hmm. Before you change your stones, it's a good idea to get a preview of the board you're about to play with. You always play sky stones with a hand of five stones. Hmm. This is where you can change the stones. Seems kind of like uh, Yu Yu cards. You play with it five cards in your hand. Try to find one with a strong one. All right. We'll trade chum before um once you are satisfied with your hand you can start the match uh don't really want that tr oh yeah that one that one's good see here one looks good yeah oh good yeah 